Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The workbook window is the window in which you will perform almost all of your work. A workbook stores information much like a database table does. Starting in Excel 2007, the size of each worksheet within a workbook has been greatly increased. A single sheet within a workbook is arranged as a grid that contains 16,384 columns and 1,048,576 rows. The first 26 columns are labeled A through Z. After that, they're labeled AA through AZ, then AAA through XFD. Now the rows are simply sequentially numbered from 1 through 1,048,576. The intersection of a column and a row is called a cell. Cells are where you enter information. They are referenced by their column and row location within the worksheet using an identification known as a cell address. So for example, the first cell in the upper left corner of a worksheet is called cell A1 because it is in column A at row 1. To the right of that cell is B1 because it is in column B row 1. That's how you refer to a specific cell in Excel. Just combine the column letter with the row number. You can only enter data into the currently selected cell. You can tell which cell is selected because it will have a thick black border around it and its cell address will appear within the name box in the formula bar. The column and row heading for the column and row in which the active cell is located will also appear orange. Now you can only have one active cell available for data entry at a time. Make sure that you leave the cell by moving the cursor out of the cell or by simply clicking on a different cell in order to set the data into the cell and continue data entry through your workbook. Note that although you can scroll throughout the whole worksheet, you will only be able to enter data into the currently selected cell. So even if you've scrolled the view of the workbook 100 columns to the right, if your active cell is A1, that's where your data entry will occur when you type. You can also select multiple cells if you simply want to manipulate the information already contained inside of them. For example, you can select from A1 through A10 and then simply add their values together. Now we will look at selecting and manipulating ranges of data later on in this tutorial. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.